Hi everyone, I'm doing this video today because I'm feeling quite upset, quite disheartened actually at what's going on out there in the world of Mac when it comes to Mac projects. I know for many of you out there right now, implementing Mac projects has become an uphill battle. They've become cumbersome, intricate, riddled with dependencies, with more risk and delays to many projects. Look, in this era where everybody is trying to accelerate their digital experiences, businesses have been torn between that of Mac and Mac architecture and that of composable commerce. But here's a provocative thought. What if the misconception of Mac and composable are actually having dire consequences on lots of projects that are out there right now? So what's went wrong and how do we fix it? Well, today I'll cover that in this video. So let's waste no more time. Let's get to it. It's important to understand that Mac and Composable are not interchangeable. Mac is a technical architecture style that comprises of four other architectural styles, microservices, API first, cloud native, and headless. Mac provides a flexible and adaptable approach for building digital experiences. I'll leave a link in the corner for you of my previous videos on what is Mac architecture and architectural styles and patterns. Composable is more of a business strategy. It allows businesses to react to market changes using modular, best of breed technical components. It doesn't define the use of any technical standards or architectural styles beyond the nod towards headless and services architecture. By no means should it be seen as a shortcut or a way of eliminating all of the technical challenges within an organization. It is not a magic silver bullet. The best way to view composable commerce is through the composable commerce cube that Mike Lowndes first presented in his paper. And the cube has three dimensions. The first is the technology stack. How are the technical components brought together? This could be Mac architecture, it could be headless, it could even be a monolith wrapped up in APIs. The second dimension is that of packaged business components. And this is where value is wrapped up in packaged features. These can be large components, say like the Ampliant CMS, or a small component like a basket, or even something like a checkout process that you would get from Bold Commerce. And the final dimension, which often gets neglected, is that of the customer journey. And this is where the value of the packaged business components actually gets delivered. In a nutshell, Composable Commerce is about a business having a platform in the future that is composed of lots of best of breed suppliers that they can swap out if their business requirements change or even if they just become unhappy with that supplier. So while Composable is a valuable concept, it is not the same thing. If you want to know more about Composable Commerce in more detail, I'll leave a link in the corner for you around what is Composable Commerce. So we have a solid modern architecture in Mac and we have a great business strategy approach from Composable, but what's going wrong? I've talked to many businesses out there that have been sold the composable Mac vision and about half of them are suffering from the same wars of the older technical projects from the past. Increasing costs, increasing complexity, timelines expanding and project risks increasing. Unfortunately, there are businesses out there with real problems with their customer experiences that could be really helped with Mac technology, but they're ditching the projects because they see them as too complex too expensive and too difficult. So what the hell is going on? Some of you out there will be listening to this and we've seen it all before. 66% of digital projects fail, but there's something else going on. Here are my views of what I believe is going wrong. First of all, composable commerce is a concept. It's a technology abstraction. It doesn't actually have any technical standards. Therefore, it's really open to interpretation. One of the most common misconceptions that are out there is composable commerce is actually a platform and not an abstraction. As a result, there are composable platforms left, right and center or platforms saying that they're platforms for composability. And it's easy to take these composable platforms and completely replace your legacy system. Many of these platforms are just simplifications of composable commerce. They just relate back to the traditional layered architectural approach with boxes for enterprise software. Businesses are promised that nirvana of composable commerce when all they're really sold is a traditional platform replacement project. And platform replacements require revolutionary change. They require extensive planning, 
significant technical design, steep upfront costs, vendor analysis and selection. Often replacing platforms at this level requires you to actually run a digital transformation project, making it even more complicated. The term composable architecture now refers to enterprise architecture with Mac and headless as preferred technologies. For me, this really jars with the original vision for the concept of composable commerce, that it was a conceptual technical framework built from lots of components that were snapped together like technical Lego. So how are we gonna fix this? In my opinion, it's first important to acknowledge that Mac does not equate to composable. A move to composability does not necessarily mean you need to replace or overhaul your entire platform. Rather than simply considering replacing the platform from the beginning, why not look at your customer experience and your customer journey and look for the areas which would have the biggest impact if you replace them and look at the things where you've got the greatest pain points or where you could add the most value and start there first. This approach will ensure that your investment will have the biggest impact and deliver the most value early on. When I consider replacing components, I look for ones which give me the greatest ROI and the fastest time to value. Ultimately, I recommend the incremental approach. With the incremental approach, you can replace the entire platform or you can stop when you've got the value you need. I released a video on the nine steps for composable success. I highly recommend you watch that next. If you like this video, can you just spend a little bit of extra time, scroll down a bit, press on that like button so this video can be shared with many others. If you're interested in seeing more videos on Mac architecture, composable commerce, or anything around modern architectures, why not subscribe? But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.